Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to optimize your Google Shopping campaigns. I'm going to teach you what and when to optimize for your Google Shopping campaign to generate more sales and more profits for your e-commerce store. I'm giving you the full checklist that my team and I use every single day, week, and month to optimize Google Shopping campaigns for our clients. Check below this video to get access to the full checklist and schedule that we'll be using in this video. Keep in mind that all the time periods that I mention in this guide are really just a guide. You should be optimizing your account when it needs it. These time periods work well for a new account that has a modest budget. However, if you're spending say $1,000 a day or more, you're going to need much more frequent work, mainly because you'll have much more data to guide you. Okay, let's get into it. First, daily checks. Here are the four essential checks that we do on a daily basis in the account. First, we check our Google Merchant Center Next account. The biggest concern is a suspension, the notification of which you'll see a big red bar at the top of your dashboard. If you see this, don't panic. Yes, it's bad, and your Google Shopping campaigns will no longer work. But Google suspends millions of accounts every single year, and many store owners can get it fixed. I'll leave some links down below with some resources on how to fix it. My team and I, we actually fix suspensions for our clients. You can get in touch with us as well and we can fix it with a guarantee. Time is of the essence with fixing your suspensions, so never miss a day to check your Google Merchant Center Next account. The second thing we wanna check is the status of our products in Google Merchant Center Next. We are looking for any disapprovals, which are indicated by a red exclamation mark, or warnings, which are orange exclamation marks in triangles. Disapprovals on products are most serious as it means that these products won't show in our Google Shopping campaigns. Just head to the Needs Attention tab under Products to review if there are any issues. Now we have a full tutorial on how to fix product disapprovals. I'll leave a link to that video down below. All right, the third thing we need to check each day is in our Google Ads account and it's our billing issues. Credit card failures and many other billing issues can happen and this can stop your ads from running. The result of this can be extremely disruptive for the growth of your campaign. It's definitely worth a daily check. And the final thing we wanna check is if our campaigns are actually getting impressions. There are many things that can stop a campaign dead in its tracks and sometimes you won't receive a Google notification for it. Go to your Google Ads campaign dashboard and make sure that you're looking at impressions and clicks. You can look at the past 30 days or you can look at the past seven days. You're looking for anything unusual in the graph. I also like to take a look at the cost and conversions on a daily basis and see if there are any anomalies. Anything out of the order triggers us to look deeper into it and find a solution. Keep in mind that there's always going to be variance in the data, but seeing an unusual break in the pattern can be an early red flag that saves your campaign and your sales. As you can see, these daily checks are basically to see if anything drastic has gone wrong in your account. Now we'll look at the weekly optimizations, which are more about improving the results. We'll often do some of these daily, like negative keyword mining, but weekly is a good minimum. Okay, here's what we do on a weekly basis. Bidding adjustments, negative keyword mining, search impression share. The first thing we do, especially with a new campaign, is our bidding adjustments. Whether you're going with manual or an automated bidding strategy, you want to assess your campaign based on two factors, how much revenue you've generated and how much profit. Based on weekly performance, you can make changes to your campaign to keep moving it in the right direction. Note that some low volume accounts may need more than a week's worth of data to make statistically significant decisions with your optimizations. We have a full guide on how to do optimizations with a manual bidding strategy. I'll leave a link to that down below. It's quite a long process to explain and take you through and we provide a full template on how to do it. So go and check out that video. The next thing we need to do is our negative keyword mining. This means we'll be combing through our search terms report. This can be found by going to your campaign going to insights and reports, and then search terms. Find irrelevant words and search terms that you can block your ads for showing for. Search terms that include these words are less likely to get conversions, so we don't wanna pay for these clicks and destroy our profit. This is one of the key ways for scaling our campaigns and generating more profits from them. We have a full guide on negative keywords for Google Shopping, and I'll leave a link to that down below. The last thing we do on a weekly basis is to check our search impressions share. This is a metric on the campaign level that shows us what percentage of the available search impressions did we show for. If our budget is capped, but the campaign is profitable, this means that we could increase the budgets and get more sales and more profits for our shopping campaign. We can find this by going to our campaign dashboard. 
we want to add data columns by going to Modify Columns, scrolling down to Competitive Metrics, and adding in Search Impression Share, Search Lost IS Rank, and Search Lost IS Budget. The first one, Search Impression Share, tells us how much we're capable of expanding our advertising based on our current setup. We're only covering just shy of 30% of what we can. Next, Search Lost IS by Rank tells us how often we're not showing our ads due to something called ad rank. This tells us we can do better at optimizing our product data and our product pages. And finally, Search Lost IS by Budget tells us how much our current budget cap may be holding us back from showing our ads. The lower the percent, the better here. Please keep in mind that when you're in the initial first few weeks of starting a Google Shopping campaign, Google is still figuring out what your products are and who to show them to. So these metrics aren't terribly useful in this initial launch phase. That's because it's based on your percentage of eligible impressions. If Google doesn't know what your products really are, then how can it know what your potential searches could be? So don't get caught up in this weekly task of checking the search impressions share until your campaign is humming along and getting results. That's when you wanna consider increasing your budget to scale your campaign. Okay, let's now look at what we do on a monthly basis. Product data optimizations and location and time of day bidding adjustments. First, the most important thing is optimizing our product data in our product feed. As we learn more about how shoppers search and then buy our products, we're going to update our feed based on this information. This is quite an involved process and that's why we have a full guided tutorial on doing product feed optimizations. I'll leave a link to that tutorial down below. Go and check it out. We also want to see if we can make any other improvements to the performance of our campaign with secondary bidding adjustments. This means checking whether the shopper's time of day and location significantly affects the profitability of our campaigns. A lot of good stuff to go in here. I'll leave a link to our tutorial on doing bidding adjustments down below. Okay, that's what we do on a monthly basis. On a quarterly basis though, we look at our campaigns on a more macro level. We want to step back and look at other things that are going to help our campaigns. Specifically, those things that require more data or changes in other areas. We do this to really see potential valuable improvements. Here, we like to play around with the time periods, metrics we're looking at, and look for any trends or seasonality. We'll also take a look at the time of the year and other Google Analytics data. We'll look for any trends and changes in things like bounce rates and conversion rates. You never want to just focus your optimizations on just your Google Ads account. You should be continuously testing, optimizing, and improving your website to improve your conversion rates. Okay, so that's what we do and when we do it to optimize our Google Shopping campaigns. This video here is actually part of our free Google Shopping course. This is a full course that shows you everything you need to set up, optimize, and scale your Google Shopping campaigns to over 100K per month. It's completely free, it's on our website, I'll leave a link down below. Also, if you're already generating 20K per month in sales for your e-commerce store and you want to scale to seven figures and beyond, my team and I can help. We use Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and conversion rate optimization to scale dozens of e-commerce stores every single month. Book a time with my team and I down below and we'll show you how we'll do this for your store. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Make sure to click here for the next video in the free course and I'll see you there.